What's up, guys? It's Tyler with Division One Trading. This is the free Forex YouTube course. So this uh, video is going to be on a setup. This is a disclaimer. Go ahead and read it if you haven't. So the engulfing pattern. It's actually one of my favorite one uh, patterns I use all the time. So engulfing candles are an easy way to an easy way to spot a shift in a candlestick formation. Right? They're a very small piece of what it takes to take a trade but still play a key role in a successful trade setup. So basically what I'm saying is you, you don't want to take a trade solely based off an engulfing, right? Just because you see a single engulfing doesn't mean that, that there's a trade there, right? There's multiple steps toward getting to that trade and the engulfing is kind of the icing on the cake. So candlestick price action patterns. So uh, we've covered this in previous videos, but this is one of my favorite, right? Three push market structure with engulfing, right? I like to see three days and then look for setups like this along with divergence and support and resistance. So we have an engulfing here, right? That's what it looks like. It would be pushing price higher. So what we're gonna talk about today is cutting that engulfing in half, right? When we see that engulfing and it trades to that 50%, this is where we want to be entering our engulfings at, right? And then we want to be looking to take that higher. And your stop, you don't want to put it right under the engulfing. You want to find the next level of structure. If there is one, there should be one because you should be waiting for a break of structure to trade anyway. But there should be some structure a little bit lower than the engulfing itself. So here's an example, <clears throat> right? We have a trend line and trades down to the low and then gives an engulfing, right? Then we kind of pause, right? Doesn't do too much, returns into the engulfing, trades higher, trades back down into it, and then goes, right? So I want you to notice something about the engulfing candles. Right, so first off, I just want you to see that there's more than one, right? We have this engulfing candle here, and then we have this engulfing candle here as well. So this has now built in a whole zone or a whole area where we could expect a trade now, right? We could really expect this area to be significant now. And as you can see, when it trades back into it, that's what happens. When we even get right here, another engulfing. So that there is going to help us build strong bullish confluence into this trade, right? So we already have the trend line, we already have everything else and the engulfing helps us set that trade up. So I'm going to go to the charts real quick and go through some engulfings. So let's go ahead and share here. So down in here, let's go to five minutes. So Really similar trade today. And you can see, right, we've had um, one, two, consolidation, three pushes down. And right on that third push, we expect to see a big trend. We do, it breaks trend. That's good. We can start looking for a trade gets to the low, right? And you see that there, when it trades to that zone, gives that engulfing candle. Right, so when it trades back into it, that's eligible. And then here you can see right in the same candle, inside the same candle, we have this engulfing candle. And so again, that gives us this zone here that we can start buying from. 
right? And so uh, if you missed this entry, right, if you missed it here, then really your best bet now would be taking something like a fib, something like here, measuring it there, right? And looking to go along on something like that. So currently, um, we have an engulfing here, but you see how it pierced through it. And then this candle failed to engulf, so it's just not as strong. Still um, an able trade, but we don't want our trades to look like this. We want them to look more like this. And then the last example we showed. Let's show one more, couple more. Let's move to a different pair. Let's go to gold. Try this. Okay. So let's see what gold has looked like. So we had consolidation, consolidation. So we really don't have too much to go off of other than, okay, so we had bullish day two, three. So we're coming off of three bullish days. Right here forms the trend, breaks it. That's good. Remember, we want to look at this zone here after it breaks that trend. We're watching that level, most likely divergent. So we're looking, we'd be looking for shorts here off of that level. Okay, it goes off of 88. But so let's pull this up. That's on the 18th. So um, if you've watched the other videos, this will be helpful. Right here is the peak. Right, we didn't use this one. Here is a level that we could use for the barrier. So trades up into the barrier, right? We're looking to see if we can get a reversal trade, right? So let's go to the 15 and the 18. So we have a bearish engulfing right here. 50% of it, see it runs through it again. That's not what we want to see, um, but we'll have to take it. So it runs through it, and then really nothing else after that. We could take this trade. Um, actually, up here, it gives that other engulfing. It's just not within that same area. Yeah, so this here, uh, you just wouldn't be able to take a trade. You'd probably just end up uh, missing it and it would run, but that's fine because you could always just take um, a sell based off the retracement. Here. And then, so yeah, it's just, this day didn't offer too much um, as far as the engulfing pattern. And then, so we have our trend here, we break trend really don't give any um, engulfing here of a different color. We give this one here and you can count that. I don't like to do it like this because it'll start messing you up, right? When you find a significant candle like that, it will show you where the trade's gonna happen, but it just becomes too complicated. So it's easier to just find uh, the most recent engulfing. Let's go a couple of days back for that. So here, when we look at that bullish momentum, yeah, right there's a solid engulfing. See, we make that, when we make the low of the day and give an engulfing, that's always solid or the high of the day, right? So if we're at the low of the day and we give an engulfing, just know that it is pretty strong. So we trade right there to the 50. Right, what happens? We trade right to it, and now we're getting that signature. Another engulfing. So now we have what? That nice zone that we can work with. Right there. And so when it trades back into it, that's a buy. And there goes one. Right, and you could also use this here, right? Break and retest of that trend line for your um, your buy entry. But let's see. Let's go over one more, two more. 
see. So yeah, don't see. So makes the low, makes the low engulfing. So then here you see how we get an engulfing, but we never really get that same signature of another engulfing occurring. We just get this single one and then it fails. All right, so we make a new low of the day, no engulfing. New low of the day, no engulfing. New low of the day, no engulfing. But here, this candle trades up. Just can't be a part of that. Um, so when we make the high of the day here, we see that makes the new high of the day. Or here, we can start here. When we made this high of the day, we gave an engulfing. Then we made the net another high of the day, right? Clearing this one out. And we get another engulfing. So that's that same signature, right? Gives us this little zone in here. And so right here, you can see we could go short on that candle. And we can kind of just follow that all the way down. So. Every time we see a bearish engulfing candle, you want to note that area. Right, this one here. So it gives you multiple setups coming right there off that high of the day. Cool. Hope this was helpful. Again, let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Um, that's going to be it for this one, guys. Appreciate it.